Hello everyone, welcome back to Starfield. What? Okay, Sarah Morgan, I have no idea where you are. But you sound like you're outside of the ship. And that's a bad thing. Anyway, we're, we're back on the Kepler R. Which, I kind of like the design and I also realize I didn't color coordinate it properly, so... That's been fixed. And... I basically can't improve on this. I have peaked with a Class C ship and a really dumb configuration of a Class C ship at that. Also, I have an extra skill point. Let's see. Two more points for that. Also, best reference right here. Special Projects needs two more points. Build five outpost modules. Wow, that didn't kick off in the, like, two hours I was down there doing stuff. All right. So, adds a zoom feature and scan distance. Well, I'm going with, wait. I'm going to go with this. I need that special project, so... Yeah, this will be very interesting. But anyway, let's get on with the mission uh, that has us steal an artifact. So, we'll be heading over, literally, over to a new system that I actually haven't been to yet. Wow, that's slow. Oh, shit. What are you? Oh, it's a ship. Okay. That for some reason has no... shields. Uh, hello. What you, the hell? You don't have business with this cow. Our captain is not taking visitors. Hmm. Persuade. Prepare to be boarded or persuade. I guess I'll try. No one uninvited boards the scow. Captain's orders. This is a massive ship. We heard stories. The captain does love letterers. Yeah. I'm from Constellation. I should not be straight up with that. Nobody else needs to know about this. I mean, that might be okay. All right. I'll clear you to dock. Keep yourself out of trouble. Or we'll have every hired gun in the cargo bay after you. I would love to know how to make a ship like the scow. Actually, let me pull up next to it. I'm not gonna... Okay. That's very interesting. Um, I seem to be a quarter of its size. Or at least a third of its size. Yeah, I didn't even see the other half of the ship. Yeah, this is a freighter. I didn't know there was a third person view. Alright, let's just board then. That was actually one of the easiest persuade checks. Especially when it's double I have something every time. I need to discuss with you. That is a person. I guess we'll talk to... I'm listening. We'll talk to Sarah first. Also, why does the light make her look that bad. I wanted to talk to you, but honestly, I don't know where to begin. The Starborn's technology is simply astonishing. It's just almost too much to process. You seem pretty shaken up about the whole thing. Yes, I suppose I am. But you can hardly blame me, can you? You do understand the significance of this encounter. Don't you? This is humankind's first contact with what I believe is an alien race. A race with technology that could be far superior to our own. Oh, we could learn so much from them. Interesting. Do you think they'd be willing to teach us? The way they behaved, I'd say that's not very likely. If we are to learn anything from the Starborn, 
We're going to have to take the initiative ourselves. I don't think they'd be willing to teach us anything. That's what disturbs me. Can't be a coincidence that these Starborn suddenly appeared after your experience at that temple. We know they're here to lay claim to the artifacts, but what's their true motivation? What aren't they telling us? Hmm. I worry that they're here to destroy us. They're certainly hostile, but I don't think they're here to completely annihilate us, or they would have done so already. Damn. Oh, if only we knew more about the Starborn. What their species is like, where they're from, how they're able to speak our language. I feel like a cadet on my very first day aboard a spaceship. My mind is absolutely swimming with questions. I think they're time travelers now. They must be some sort of alien life form. Obviously. But there has to be more to these beings than simply originating from another world. Their name alone, Starborn. There's some type of hidden meaning there. Something that feels very old. Perhaps even ancient. Whatever the case may be, I can assure you that Constellation intends to get to the bottom of this mystery. Hmm. We should make every effort to learn more about these things. Exactly. We must use all of the tools at our disposal to learn more about the Starborn and their connection to the artifacts. I'll be there to help you every step of the way. Thank you. I really appreciate your support right now. You know, it's funny. When I was a little girl, I'd lay on the ground and stare up at the stars. I was absolutely convinced they held a secret. I'd remain there for hours in silence, eyes closed, listening, waiting for the secret to be whispered in my ear. This encounter with the Starborn is that moment to me. The stars are finally whispering, and I need to hear what they have to say. Very interesting. We'll get you there, I promise. I knew I could count on your support. Well then, I've certainly wasted enough of your valuable time. Just do be careful if you cross paths with these Starborn in the future. I wouldn't want to lose one of the most valuable members of Constellation. Little does she know she that uh, they've appeared at every uh, temple so far, except the very beginning ones. Yeah, I feel like I'm still going to have a gunfight on my hands. Even though the ship on the outside was we'll relatively on powerful. But Petrov was done hiring mosquitoes. Or maybe you're after something from the captain's collection. Mosquito? Well, he calls us. Some old Earth term. I heard this was a party ship. I'm here to party. Oh, God, the captain's gonna love you. Just what I need. Two blowhards. I trust I'm invited to the party as well. Go on, then. Okay, so if I said the wrong thing. Okay. Also, I'd love to know what suit that is. Actually, yeah, I, I remember now. Um, he's wearing the bounty hunters? At least I think he's wearing the bounty hunter suit. Kind of weird. Alright. Well, if we need to fight out of here, I've got... Uh, well, that probably won't work. I put away my uh, sniper. I actually have no idea where I'm going, so. Man, I wish we could build freighters ourselves. Do shit with them. Yeah, build freighters, move tons of cargo. That would probably be amazing. Well, we have a couple of enemies that are already marked as hostile. So... 
I am going to say these might be just neutral until we do anything. Not unlike the uh, guards in, I think, the um, Tower on Neon. I mean, some of these are pretty cool. Also, looking at that, that's kind of funny. I could just do this. Hold on, I got it. Just barely. Damn it, I can't get it again, huh? Even though I just said display and it wasn't locked. Damn it. Ah, uh, oh well. That's another one of the Explorer helmets. What can I help okay. you Okay. But I... There are a lot of people here. A lot of the guards here are bounty hunters, smugglers, or salvagers from the fringes. A lot of sharks and wolves. Ah! I wasn't aware we had the visitors. Wadik, you didn't tell me we had visitors. <sighs> we have visitors. Excellent! Now that you've gone to all this trouble to get here, you should make yourself at home. Relax! Kick up your feet on the tables. I don't care, they have scorch marks on them anyway. Ooh, such a fan. I heard your collection is legendary. Oh, ho, ho. flattery, huh? My favorite pastime, huh? Between you and me, I do have something very special in the vault. Ah, but my jealous heart knows no bounds. I want to keep it all to myself. Ooh, just a small peek at his collection. Mm. Can I? I'll try. Tempting. I do love showing off. But my security team will have a heart attack. It would be against all those protocols that I admittedly told them to make. <laughs> all right, I'll see if I can get this done. Tempting. I do love... Oh, ho you do have a point. Maybe we can work something out. Really? How flattering. Ah, very well. What's a quick look going to hurt, huh? All right. I know. People look at me and say, Petrov, your whole ship is a testament of splendor. Why do you need a special vault? Well, all I can say is that even the greatest collection your needs time. its own oh, private Moscow. viewing area. Plus, between you and me, there are thieves everywhere. So I spared no expense. Every door between me and my treasures is pain. But that is the price of security, huh? Okay, Sarah. All right, that was a good check, though. This ship and I have been through some mm. adventures, I'll tell you. I once collected salvage from a demo celestial class while it was exploding. The crew was scraping scorch marks and bits of metal off the hull for weeks. And of course, there was the time I accidentally you hear this steered us into a UC Navy vessel after a particularly uproarious celebration of my latest acquisitions of fine art. But we were wedged perfectly between their two thrusters and were able to just kind of push them back into the star yard for repairs. Yeah, that persuasion check is kind of hard. <clears throat> Shh, 
feel the artifact. And now, the moment itself. Ah, beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. That holding it for the first time was like drowning in your own soul. Alas, I've held it several times and my soul is still breathing. Devoid of any such enlightenment. Hmm. Did he say he pulled it out of bedrock? Why, yes. He did. I'll pay for it. Name your price. Oh, no. No, no, no. I can't. This one is mine. It's only fair to warn you. Hands off. I would hate to sour our new friendship by becoming the victim of piracy. We're not taking anything, unless you make things unreasonable for us. Interesting. Support me for piracy if you want, I, but I need that artifact. Then I suppose it's just a question whether my immeasurable love for my collection and my crew of hired cutthroats is enough to stop you. Go ahead. Make a move for the artifact. Let's see what happens. You've done an admirable job of trying to keep your cool. But I'm afraid the captain isn't going to listen to reason. Interesting. Hmm. Well, look a little bit here. This is a bit weird of a collection. Because it seems to just be old, old, uh, computers and such. Hmm. You came for what is mine. Wait! I surrender! I surrender! Don't kill me! No witnesses. And want to take the artifact by force. So your crew to stand down, no one else gets hurt. We give you our word. Done! Stand down, everyone. Let the nice pirate pass. Or you'll be passing. Also, the marker's way over there. I've got to follow the way back. Damn it, Petrov. I was just getting warmed up. And you'd all be dead, and there'd be one extra empty ship. Floating around this planet. I'm getting out of here. There's literally nothing else of value You're lucky the a aboard this ship. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want to destroy the entire thing. So what? We're just oh, here's the funny thing about uh, all of these guys. This is basically the uh, pirate presets. All of the characters, besides the named ones, have um, the pirate faces, like that preset. All right, let's go. Something you might be interested in. Also in the background there, there's just things flipping out. Oh, if I started attacking, they had turrets. All right. Oh, wait, apparently I've been here. Huh? Oh, yeah, for a side mission, we were already here. Or actually, not a side mission. <laughs> we already came here. For one of the artifacts. All right, so it is truly randomized. Welp. Fire up your hand, Scanner. I bet you'll find plenty here to catalog. Maybe. But anyway, let's add this to the collection. Yeah. <clears throat> Black.
Vladimir. Vlad, come in. Come in. Uh oh. Oh no, high price to pay. Damn. F5. Let's see what's going on. The eye's gone completely dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. Sounds like they're in trouble. I'm heading up there. Noel, Starboard came out of nowhere. Vladimir, get out of there! He already left. Said he was going to, uh, to the launch. Is anyone else hurt? Barrett, he, he's he's still breathing, but oh god, all that blood! Hello, constellation. Are you there? Who are you? What did you do to our friends? They call me the Hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. What? If anyone else is hurt on that... God. If anyone else is hurt on the eye, you're dead. Vladimir's right. We need to fortify our position before that starborn storms in. We move out once the artifacts are ready for transport. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. Okay, a choice. I'm not leaving anyone. I'm going to the eye, or we stay and protect the artifact. I am uncertain which one to go with. Um, huh. Protecting everyone here while assuming everyone is dead or going up there and trying to rescue people. We are not sure if they are alive. We have to stay here. I want everyone watching each other's backs. We're not losing anyone else today. I don't know how long it's going to take to pack up the artifacts. I... I'll get started. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes if my hands can stop shaking. Everyone, find a place to take cover. Where? Do you really expect them to barge through the front door? Just don't stand out in the open, Walter. Could you all keep it down? I'm trying to work here. Yeah, I'm staying here. Walter! Are you all right? Hello, again. I'm on your side. I'm a ship, Walter. There's nothing out there. Go fuck this. Gotta get out of here. Okay, let's get out of here. Also, I just realized I ran out of med kits. Get to 
the ship. Go to your ship. Oh, Jesus. Where the hell did we end up? Okay, I don't need my gun then. Never mind. Alright, well. He's mostly after me. And I don't have a... <clears throat> a health kit equipped. Use an emergency kit right now. Where is fucking UC security when you need them, damn it? Yeah, UC security ain't doing shit. We need to get out. Yeah, he is on my ass for some reason. There's two of him now. I might want to swap two. <laughs> yeah, he is on my ass. Even the technicians getting in on it. Holy shit. Yep. Get in the cockpit. We need to continue. Help the others. That starboard is right behind us. We have to risk it. We dying there. Yep, we're getting out of here. You know what? God damn it. I fucking. Hmm. Hold on. Oh no! I have to admit, this has been interesting. What are you going to do with the arm Larry now? I wonder. Ooh. In yeah, the arm Larry, what's the artifact collection? Uh, the arm Larry, is that what the collection is? Oh, now you're waiting. Get spaced. Oh, please. Don't you have some friends you need to check on? Fuck you, Scorpius. There's a greater purpose to all this. You might have a larger role than I realized. A mistake on my part. Keep collecting the artifacts. Okay, then they aren't the same. Some of them have different opinions on things, okay. I was fully ready for a fight. I was not ready for a fight. Back when, what was it, the Helix appeared? Oh, damn it, dude. You know the realization I just goddamn made? We met the hunter before. Back in the viewpoint, or viewport, there was a person in just a black mask when I was running around trying to recruit people. And now I realize we've met him. And I think I might have seen him on Aquila somewhere as well. God damn it.
Vitals. Barrett. Barrett. It's Sarah. Barrett, get up. There's nothing more we can do. He doesn't have much time. Barrett. We're going to keep going. We'll finish this adventure you started. It's okay. Be at peace. He's... He's gone. I'm gonna kill that hunter, no matter what it takes. We can't change anything now. <gasps> Come on. God damn it, and it, just as we were about to... Just as we were about to figure out what was going on with his significant other. Andresia. He, he came out of nowhere. Yeah, we're here. Thank you. Uh, I don't think I can move right away. But I'll make it. Go on. All right. Everyone else, we've got to got to check on them. Dad, the others are here. We're going I really to messed up on this one, friend. Usually the last guy to get out drawn. Damn. Don't worry, Sam. I'm just glad you're okay. I get you. I don't think I'm going to be moving around too much for a bit. Uh, but I'll be all right. Oh, thank the stars beyond. All right, where's Vladimir? Damn it. You're alive. Krix's ghost can keep waiting. Yeah, let me help you up. No tears for the old. Got the others to worry about. Damn it. We lost Barrett. We were on the cusp of finding out what Vladimir. had happened. Oh, thank goodness. Where's Barrett? He's gone. <laughs> we... Uh, we need to talk locks and bolts. Lodge and the eye are not secure. He said he was leaving us alone. Just means he's playing the waiting man's game. He'll be back once we've done all the work of collecting the other pieces. The hunter, he, um... Oh, he, he probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area, just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fringe, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. Hmm. Keep them on my ship. Fine idea. Starborn show up, you can burn helium in one spin of the grab drive to anywhere. Here. Keep the artifacts safe. I guess... We'll meet back at the lodge after. Damn. You can now build the armillary on your ship or at an outpost. To build it on your ship, go to the new armillary screen inside your ship's cockpit. To build the armillary at one of your outposts, go to the outpost and enter build mode. There will be a new quest category that contains it. Ah, oh, damn it. We'll do it, Barrett. For you. Ah, oh, that didn't. That wasn't for me, huh? There we go. <laughs> that was weird. I guess I took too long. Need something, Chief? Ooh, it's a new build. You now move the armillary. Starborn attacks are more likely wherever the armillary is placed. If you choose to keep the artifacts in your inventory, then attacks are more likely everywhere. It's always a good day when we Okay. Return to the lodge. Alright. Well, <clears throat> they won't be taking out anyone. 
other than me. Or maybe my crew, who knows. But now I think about if I got there quicker, I would have saved Barrett. If I only got there quicker, we would have saved Barrett, but... <clears throat> yeah. We ended up losing the most sarcastic guy in the crew. Of course, other than me... Got locked down. Except... It looks like there was another... Another attack. Okay, there's a ship coming in. Yup, we just caused... Damn. If you were a victim of the recent attack, please remain calm. Let's get to mast, head into the lodge. We'll get through this together. Damn it, dude. I'll never forget Barrett, especially with his heavy weapons habit. Dude, I did not think that he was just going to not take a single hit. I even bought ammo for this damn machine gun and it just did nothing. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Barrett's belongings have been moved to the lodge basement. Okay. Yeah, I feel awful now. I will be monitoring everyone's vitals for signs of continued trauma. Oh, here. Barrett's outfit. Damn, dude. Yeah, he definitely had the habit of using a micro gun. Damn, dude. Mission updated. Unity. What? We're still on high price to pay. What the fuck? Damn. Didn't think I'd lose Barrett. Hell, of all people, I thought I'd lose Sarah more. But I guess we're always dealt the worst hand. Mateo, I need to be checking everyone's vitals. Now really isn't the time. I know. Look. We all feel like we've been kicked into the ground a million times over, but I think I have something. I'm serious. Okay. Walter, I don't think your neck's supposed to go that far to the left. Okay. If I may, I know our encounter with the hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. Unity. Do you remember that? They said our part in glimpsing the unity was over. Because he was stopping us, implying that we were getting closer to it. The thing is, I've heard that word before. It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus' speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look, 
I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but why not talk to him? Hmm. Yeah, where is the Sanctum Universum anyway? It's right here in the city, just a block or so from the lodge. Right? It's too big of a coincidence not to try, Mateo. There's no harm in gathering more information. A <clears throat> visit to the Sanctum might actually be quite enlightening. Thank you. I know it's not much to go on, but something about this feels right. I'll meet you over there. Okay, we're getting superior no gear. Okay, that's it. Time to sell some of your junk. All right, we can have everyone back as companions. Unity, okay. Talk to Keeper Achilles. Let's go. <clears throat> you have a moment. Actually, let's see what Sarah has to say. Yeah, what is it? Nothing. All right. What do you have that's interesting for me? Yes. Have a look. Oh, thanks. So useful. I'm still surprised that the local authorities weren't like, Yeah, we saw you running away. Can you fucking explain that? Like, literally, I'm surprised that not a single, like, person of authority, I guess, has once asked us, you know, why the hell were you running away from, from the Starborn or whoever that was, and then hopped in your ship and left while there was still just devastation happening. I think the building that um, we're going to is right next to the Varun one. Dude, I still, like, we were so close into uncovering the mystery of what happened to Irvin with Barrett. Like, why something happened. Guess we're not going to find out. Yes, exactly. It's like, like, when someone insults you, you want to just beat the shit out of them sometimes, but you don't. <laughs> well, not quite what I was thinking, but that's actually a great example, Marcus. The man in the story was cruel. But do you know why he was cruel? You must feel what he feels. Understand his pain. Accept it. And deliver it not back upon him. Empathy. You mean empathy. <laughs> but you say it like it's easy. Like anyone can... just love a terrible person who has been terrible to them. Yeah, why even bother? I mean, isn't the cycle of humanity peace and war back and forth, like forever? Seems kind of pointless to try so hard for something that won't last. Nothing ever really changes. It's not easy, no, but necessary. Because you see, everything has changed. God has given us the intelligence, the ingenuity to reach into the stars, to travel his path, to truly find him. But we can't do it alone. The only way is through unity. Huh. Yes, Andreas. Yes. Unity. Well, I'm sure you all have other things to do. Thank you for taking the time to stop and talk with me. He's giving me a lot to think about. Very interesting. Okay. Has seen so Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Oh, Mateo, it's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother still struggling with that Azalea garden? 
No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh. Well, what's on both your minds? Hmm. To talk about unity. Oh. Yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Interesting. Ooh. How did they get in there without opening the door? Alright, let's have what seems like a really long talk, huh? Oh, now that we have a little privacy, why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you two here? We start with the discovery of these anomalies, the artifacts. They're like nothing we've ever seen, Keeper. Gravitational distortion, sub-audio harmonic sequencing, unidentifiable energy fluctuations. Uh, I caught half of that. So, these things are unusual? Even in your experience? There have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. It's a stretch, but we hope you can help us. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path to discovering its meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. Interesting. Let's hear the story then. There must be more to it. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun, and he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? Interesting. Infinitum addendum. An odd saying, very specific. Yes, something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. Interesting. Fine, I'll go talk to them. The enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. The rune worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. All right. Well, I guess we're going to start. Wait, is is he referring to the Varun? I saw... I probably didn't keep that in the cut, but... The Varun soldier or whoever I saw in one of the cells. All right. 
This will be interesting. I'll start there first. All right. Hello. A visitor? I have all the company I need. That's the single loneliest statement I've ever heard. Jokes. <laughs> you come to hear about Varun. Like the guards. Like the keeper. I don't think it was a joke. It was an attempt at some genuine sympathy. The Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. Interesting. I admire your conviction. Yes, I do as well. We both like to keep an open mind. The knowledge of the Great Serpent sweeps away all concern. There is only his inevitable return, and those he will spare. Nothing else. You wish to speak of the Keeper's Pilgrim, do you not? I will tell you of him, and then you will leave. Jinan Varun meets the Unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the Unbeliever down, but the Unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the Unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. Interesting. Must be more to your god than just killing. Strength and conviction show your worthiness to the Great Serpent. The kill is not as important as showing there is no doubt. I grow tired of speaking. Leave me. Okay, very interesting. The Keeper's version of that... They, he traveled the universe, but nothing about him dying multiple times. Interesting. Let's go find the House of Enlightenment. Are we surprised the contents came damaged? Oh, yeah. Okay. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. Oh, you're not. Sorry. Can I help you? Uh, Keeper Aquilus uh, sent me. I need to talk to you about the Pilgrim. We don't mean to be intrusive. Any information you could provide would be very useful. Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a Unity Pilgrim. But since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. All right. Let's hear it. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. Hmm. I also hate the number of two. I also hate the number two with a fiery passion. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what do they mean each individual must understand how 
the second person lifts them up. It's part of our core principles. There's no God pushing us to do good for some eternal reward. We have to help each other because we choose to. If no one takes responsibility for making the settled systems better, then we're just leaving it to the tyrants to bully the rest of us. Interesting. Maybe there's a message hidden in what he is saying. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Interesting. Thank you, you've given me a lot to think about. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. Interesting. Head back to the Keeper. Alright, let's go back to him and see what we can make of this. Although kind of weird that their symbol is multiple circles intersecting or being multiple planes kind of uh, on top of each other. Okay, can I talk to him standing up? Well, you're back. What did you learn? Was there something hidden in their stories, like we thought? If the enlightened story used the word second and two. Hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. What else did you learn? I spoke to the Varun Zealot. She said, Jinan fought four times over 120 days. If there really is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find, those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? In your story, the Pilgrim contemplates infinitum addendum. That must mean something. Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. Indum, that's the name of the start system. Next, the next planet I'm finding, I'm naming Dum Dum. What do you think? No. Indum, that's the name of the star system. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum. At four and one hundred twenty. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? There's something sacred out there, bringing everything together. Ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity is also a force that brings things together. Should that be sanctified? No, just a natural force. Unity is something greater. Yes, gravity is a miracle, just like life itself. No, there has to be something greater. It is one of the great contradictions of belief. We feel the presence of something out there, but we insist that it is also everywhere. So you think this word unity describes that divine unknowableness that the pilgrim searched for? 
Ancient humans thought the concept of gravity was miraculous. Until we know more about the Unity, we also could be jumping to the wrong conclusions. Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. Travel to Indum 2. All right, let me get on my Kepler and we'll go. Oh my god. I'm taking hits. Vertical now. Oh no! Didn't expect that to be here. Also, does that not show you how overpowered particle turrets are? It's hilarious that all you need is a uh, class B reactor. Let's go. Well, my turrets are just pointing straight up. What the hell is that in front of me? What the hell is that in front of my ship? Oh, there it is. Also, the gravity is terrible. Wait, wait, wait. Incoming weather effect. Um, was that secondary one? Also, I like how I've committed 14 murders and the game really just doesn't care. Cargo links established. Five starborn killed. Interesting. What the hell is that? There's a structure. If this place has flora and fauna. And a good amount of resources. This would be a good place to make a small outpost. Probably just for like nickel and uranium. Search for clues on the unity. There's one of those animals. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, it's two uranium patches like right next to each other. But there was something in the middle for a second. All right. Wait, is this an actual place with people in it? Look at all this. Whoever lived at this homestead seemed to have settled in for the long haul. Hmm. And there aren't any people here. But it does look dusted over, like. Scan any promising leads? It looks dusted over and looks like it's. Okay, Pilgrim's writing four. The last bit of peace. A piece of peace. Is that anything? Is that funny? Why am I trying to be funny? They have driven me mad. Have they driven me mad at last? Is there a difference between writing to myself or and talking to myself? The former certainly seems more acceptable than the latter. I recall again that my mind is my own. 
and that even if only it exists that is sufficient for me to believe every believe in everything else the unity has restored me once more this act or this time I act alone for now myself is a formidable opponent I should have expected as much but vanity is thankfully not among my vices regardless it turns turns out some time spent in solitude is in my case time with a very sick man where whatever it is I have become I don't like this person very interesting three today in a soft voice my assistant asked me if there was anything above the unity it was all I could do to keep myself from shouting that I could scarcely comprehend the misunderstanding that would lead to such a question. Interesting. Your word throbs from my mouth gets gobbled up, misheard, misremembered, misunderstood, and mistranslated before I can issue the slightest clarification. That is what history tends to do to things. I walked right by one. Two, I'm looking at this backward. So here is the crux of my troubles. To accomplish anything, I need to work with other people. I need assistance, I need workers, I need hands. I work together, they inevitably ask questions and I can never help talking. It starts innocently enough. They wanna understand how someone who believes in science can also believe in the divine. Interesting. My weakness is my ability to, to let alone. I want them to understand, so I try gently as I might to much nudge their mind along the right path. Then there are follow-ups and followings. The trouble is that I genuinely care for these people. It would be so much easier if I didn't. Very interesting. We get into this hab. And the game just jittered hard. Ooh. It's still up and running, at, even after all of this time. Also, I thought that said Explorer's Outfit. Not Space Suit. Still good suit. Try to get it. Oh, and here's number one. I'm going to look around a little bit more. Ooh, access the locked room. Interesting. Yeah, there is a locked room. Plenty of items inside, but also writings of what looks like a madman. Okay, we've got number five in here. Number one right here. The credulous simplification of mundane humans never ceases to amaze me. My worst instincts, that the evil spirit, draw me towards a form contempt for them, but I remember that I'm privy to that which they are not. Interesting. I cannot and should not judge them for a lack of vision, but I know very well the blinders which obscure their sight. I once wore them myself after all. I hope for their sakes that they may someday understand, but for my sake, I wish to be left alone. Alright, that's number one. We've been reading backward myself thinking about his various pasts and my possible futures. Imagine continuing on the road, acquiring more power, more knowledge, more development of myself. Very interesting. Imagine if I took a different path, I... Imagine if I took a different path, if I stopped running, stopped seeking to gather my own power, if I instead embraced the twinges compassion I feel in my heart and let myself care for the people who seem to gather about me whenever I try to work. I simply lived and taught and perhaps brought others to the light and died. Interesting. There's the difference though. When I stop thinking about the, the glories I could achieve for myself, the pleasure fades nearly immediately. When I stop thinking about staying and building something, the feeling endures. There is something more about sustaining... There's something... 
more sustaining about it, more fulfilling. I don't know what this difference signifies, but I'm grateful for the time I've taken to notice it. Interesting. Alright, let's see what this does. Unlock personal room. If you came seeking the right anchor. If you came seeking the right answers, you will know what question to ask. What is the unity? I return your question with a question. You have read my writings. What is the burden of people? People are necessary, but people are madness. Who is the most forbidable? Formidable opponent. The hunter, myself, no one. Myself. Where does enduring contentment come from? In stopping and embracing compassion. Interesting. I did that as a gamble, basically. You came here seeking the true meaning of the unity. You still wish to find it? There's one final piece of myself in the next room. I found my answer a long time ago, but not in the way I was expecting. I hope you, your journey gives you the truth. Wow. Okay, wow, okay. That's really cool. I'm gonna take that. Anything else here? Soba. Meal kit. Interesting, interesting. Digipick. Final writing. I don't know what the correct answer is. I might never. Increasingly, though, I am comfortable with not knowing. The more I reflect on being here in this world, in this time, the more I think is precisely where I need to be. This time will be different. It won't be about me, so I won't have to run. I can actually build something with intent instead of scrambling to fix something that others create in my name. It can be something beneficial. It can be something beneficial. I'm leaving behind that other person. This world has no place for him. Let him die. Let me live to enlighten the blessed universe before me. You have found the end of my journey. But to know everything, you must find the beginning. On Isla 2, the island hides the scorpion, and the scorpion's sting hides the truth. Interesting. Off we go. Where we're going, nobody knows. Except me. That is far. And that's barely a fraction. I really think you only need like 800 fuel now to really get around places. Wow, I think I went a little overkill for just about everything. All right, let's go. Hello. Security ship. Hello, Captain. We pose no threat here. Quite the opposite. I'm making another run out of New Atlantis, taking universals out in the stars. To get closer to God and to appreciate the galaxy and all its majesty. Interesting. Nice to encounter someone peaceful. Space travel is dangerous, but fortunately most ships don't engage us. Whether it's respect for our religious beliefs or the fact that we carry only passengers, I don't know. Have you ever felt something spiritual while traveling the stars? I've jumped dozens of times, and I still don't know I've had the revelation that Keeper Aquilus describes. But I'll keep jumping. Interesting. It's hard not to feel something profound while traveling the stars. I completely agree. It was a pleasure talking with you. We have to be going. But I hope God watches over you out there in the stars. Interesting. So they have a security ship that follows them around, and I just realized my ship is still trying to fix itself. It's 
there anything in this galaxy here? Wow, we got a lot of good stuff here. Aluminum and lead. No, it'd have to be aluminum and iron. We've got two, three, four giants in this system with a lot of moons. Very interesting. All right, let's just head on down. Ancient ruins. This is interesting. Although it says an island, but that's... The, the note said an island, right? Why does it look like it's on a big landmass? Right, exit. We seem to have a problema. I'm gonna go to their ship, but uh, I doubt uh, they're here for anything other than my head or the artifacts. Oh, there's a body of water here. Oh, you don't see that very often. Okay, I see what they did. They cut a piece of it. I think I'm going to go to the Starborn ship first. Before anything. Although it looks like... Uh, they might meet me here? I don't know. I don't see any other way of getting to this. Damn it. I have to make it... fuck is that thing? It's an insectoid. What an incredibly beautiful sculpture. Hmm. I suspect it was placed here for some sort of specific purpose rather than as an artistic statement. Yes, yeah, very interesting. They don't seem to want to attack. Although I haven't seen anyone from the Starborn appear. Hmm. Glyph. trying to bring the light down oh to a part of the go to the last star of the Scorpius constellation alright then this is very interesting. I'm gonna go pay these fucking Starborn a visit. Give me a second. I've gained one quantum essence? No, don't tell me they landed in a spot. With a ton of enemies, huh? Hold on. 
Yeah, there's a bunch of markers up there. I think they actually killed him. I got a quantum eff effort. What F and F three F F F F F F. Words. Yeah, I got a quantum essence. So let's end them. Interesting, how the hell would I go about getting into this? Okay, I'm walking on his ship. Starborn Guardian 2. Okay, I'm going to guess I may have missed him in the atmosphere. Uh, but also he got absolutely obliterated by whatever is here. Like, whatever those monster things are, they, they absolutely obliterated him. Alright, let's go to the last star in the constellation of the Scorpion. Launch. Where is this telling me to go? Auburum Prime. Interesting. Oh my. You sent me to find the true meaning of unity. He did. Now it's all starting to make sense. You should come aboard. There's another starborn here who is very interested in meeting you. I can speak for myself. Interesting. Constellation ship. You weren't invited to this meeting, but much of our conversation has been about you. It's only fitting you should join us. I will personally guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. Mm. And think of it as a ceasefire meeting. Your one shot at getting those answers you must desperately want. Fine. Who is this second Starborn that is guaranteeing my safety? Let's just say they're very dedicated to stopping me from getting the artifacts. So if you don't trust me, well, they're your next best bet. I know your encounters with our kind have not been pleasant, but we are here to talk, and you deserve answers. Fine, I'll start the docking procedure. Yes, indeed. I don't trust him. I do not trust him. Although level 30, I could probably take on his ship. Oh, it has a docking port at the back. Okay. Okay. Let's see, I got my Big Bang Theory. I actually should have called this shotgun the it, the Big Bang Theory. Hello. Again. <laughs> mm. Do you remember the Emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix? I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Very interesting. And whatever... It, all we ever wanted was to talk. You attacked us. Yes, we did. 
We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. The Emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. They're talking in circles. Hmm. They are talking in circles. That doesn't justify murder. And who gets to say that? You? Me? The Emissary? I have debated morality for near infinity. And all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The Unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. Not a relatively expendable Dusty anymore, are you? Look at where you've ended up. What? I'm not who you think I am. <laughs> this universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from, I was the one who stayed at the Lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. This is... So this unity is where the artifacts are from. The temples? They are all connected. But both of you are trying to keep people from it. I have to. This is bigger than all of us. <laughs> all the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. In every universe, the starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They used the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? What the hell? The Keeper? No, some other version of the same person. You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up, to appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far, not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. 
Hmm. So I help one of you. We combine our artifacts and enter the unity. Bingo! I want a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine or the hunter's? Yes. Let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. Interesting. This is a really weird ship. But... It's odd that one of them is Barrett and one of them is the Keeper. And even more odd that you can actually meet the Hunter before really any of this kicks off. I guess I'll hear no, both sides. We met in our universes. Still, it's good to see you again, old friend. Okay. I'm sure you have more questions. Ask. So you try to protect the artifacts, keep them from being abused. You've seen the terror the hunter causes. Every time a starborn goes through the unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. Interesting. Who was I in your universe? What was I like? Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version. But so much of you stays the same. It's hard. But each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again, as yours won't have its real me. That's a good point. It's using the multiverse type of stuff, or uh, timelines, universes converging, universes changing. Technically, nothing is the same. What exactly is the armillary? are assembled. The device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. Hmm. What happens when you enter the unity? It's not an easy experience to describe. But the unity will speak to you. Offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? So you're, so you're telling me... I go through some portal, end up on the other side, none of my... None of what I've done. Or everything of that I've done is basically thrown away. Interesting. Okay. What about you, you might Hunter? Think the emissary, the emissary and their kind only want to control you. You call the emissary a hypocrite. Why? They enter the unity, take artifacts from others, employ force, all the things I do. I am many things. But I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The Emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter. But the Unity itself doesn't judge. Interesting. Why'd you attack the Lodge? You let me go. Why? To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead, and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the emissary. Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the emissary has gotten to me first, and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me packing through Constellation, and it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. 
It's new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. God damn, I knew I had plot armor. Yeah, you had this meeting because of me? <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. Can we make peace? No. Oh, how tragic. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. And it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> but you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Why did you attack us? I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the emissary to decide what to do about you. What is the unity to you? Why kill for it? Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. Interesting. And I have to pick one or the other. Do I have to pick one or the other or do I simply leave? Very trippy. Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave. Fuck you. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact, but also a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old Earth. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here. To open the way. Earth's moon, the soul system. Yes. I will say no more. Thank you. All I ever wanted was answers. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure that they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Interesting. I don't necessarily trust either of them. Even if it may be... Even if it may be one of them... Just be... Might be wearing... Red's face. Alright, let me power down the engines and I'll jump there immediately. Oh wait, actually, where is Sarah? <clears throat> I was certain I left her Need aboard. Energy? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, um... Oh, she's already set back to follow. Okay. Yeah, unearthed. Power from beyond. I think I want to do some temple locating. Which I'll do that in the meantime. I won't show anymore. I think I've already shown enough of those. But, uh... 
<clears throat> yeah, I'll end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed, because this was a wild ride. Please leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell, set notifications to all, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Missed the sound of my voice, huh?